I always like to work from a model, either a directory or working with photographs. So if I'm drawing a character, like a princess or something, I might think, Evie would be my princess, or Allison today. So Allison, give us your best princess pose. <laughs> it's really important to give the, the relationship between the nose and the mouth. And if you get that wrong, it, it, it's not going to look like Allison. You're doing really well, Allison. That's great. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll do the top with you guys. Come around here and have a look. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Okay, guys, round of applause for Alice. <laughs> the council decided, as a matter of policy, to create this position of laureate in an oak and for a number of very important reasons. We wanted to redefine the place of children's literature in Ireland. We wanted to encourage writers and readers to engage with literature of the highest quality, aimed at young readers, certainly, but also at teachers and parents. Young people, and children in particular, have wonderful flowing imaginations. The richness of their imaginative lives is potentially transformative. Somehow we succeed in extinguishing that at some stage and limiting its opportunities to be given outlet and expression. And one of the miracles of the imaginative gesture in establishing the Laureate Minogue was that it challenges that notion of children. It challenges that assumption that children don't have the capacity for reflection. I just want to say that the, today the three Irish writers, Siobhan Parkinson, Neil Shark and Dawn Colfer, who have accepted the challenge of doing all I have been describing so far, have brought their own unique talent and creative vision to the role of Laurie de Nogue, as they have established international reputations, and they've left their own distinct imprint in the world of children's books. And for those who illustrate books as well, it's very interesting in the bookshop People will recognise you immediately. They'll say, that's so and so and so which is a great recognition. And today we're celebrating the appointment of our fourth laureate, Nanook, uh, PJ Lynch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vera Mila Margaret, of the Royal Mayor. It's a huge honour to receive this award from you. Um, and, and to be here in the Arts Council with you all today, I, I really appreciate it all so much. I'm, I'm enjoying myself immensely. I want to get a, give a brief hint of what my laureateship's going to be about. Um, I'm a book illustrator, so it's going to be a lot to do with pictures. We're calling it the big picture. Um, I, an important part of my process is going to be this, this thing. Uh, we're going to be taking lots of photographs, doing videos, I'm going to be doing a podcast. Um, and I was just thinking, this little box of magic, you could not have envisaged something like this when I was a child. I'm going to try to encourage as much as possible. I want to remind the youngsters uh, of today I want to remind them of the old kind of magic, not this new super technology that I don't know. But I want to remind them of, of the magic of, of, of the pen and, and scraping along the paper, the, the pencil and the, the, and the watercolour brush. And, uh, and, and I want to remind them of the magic mucky fun you can have as we did our, earlier upstairs when you, when you get stuck into the charcoal and the chalks. That kind of stuff. That's what the big picture is going to be all about. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me.